Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Time to head over to fall now. As you can tell, the recurring enemies are recurring. Well, that was the best commentary I could think of, I guess, but yeah, they're not really threatening enemies. Eerie is extra hungry now. He would like some more caterpillars. Ten this time, rather than five. So now in the fall, there are a bunch of leaf piles here that you can climb up happily. <clears throat> I think you need a talent chop for them though, like will I slide down? Yes I will, okay. But these things make getting around a whole lot easier. Oh, and by the way, there are, I believe, 48 notes in the fall. So, yes, there's quite a lot more to get on this portion, so we're gonna have to keep our eyes peeled for that. But we're gonna get them all on our usual route through the treetops and wherever we need to go around the base and whatnot. And these birdies sure have gotten bigger! <laughs> yeah, things grow in size, but they're not really any more threatening. There's another caterpillar right here, guarded by... A birdie of doom, and that's not really doomish. Um, actually, I should probably go down over here just to make sure that I've got everything that I would like to get. Yeah, see, I, I thought I missed something back there. Yeah, I gotta get those caterpillars just in cases. Uh, don't need the mumbo tokens. Z -z -z. <laughs> hey, you, get out of my way. <laughs> Just in case I fall down, they'll cause me issues. And now that I'm down in the fall, remember how we've got ourselves a reward waiting for us over at Naughty's place? Remember, remember, remember? Remember, remember, remember? Well, now we can go in there. <laughs> because this is too slippery for our talent shop, but it's not too slippery for us to swim through because we don't use the walls at all. <laughs> Hey, yeah, I'm here! Let's party! Woo! <laughs> waiting months. And there we go. Heck yeah, slow down and everything. <laughs> Four jiggies and counting. Okay, I think that's all... Yeah, okay. Uh, but I would, would like you to come back here in the winter time, because there's another prize for you to come if you should dare. But for now, let's get out of here. <laughs> and what's up on this thing this time? Like, can I tell? Or is there nothing but that flight pad that I don't have access to because of the snare bear? Yeah, I can't get the camera to... Oh, I don't think there's anything up there anyway. At least of importance, so I'll just flop on down the lower path here. And, um, well, I guess we should, shouldn't we? Yep, there's Govi still here, a glutton for punishment. One last pound for the road. <laughs> I guess he got some more water from fall. And, yep, it is now blooming in full, which will cause a jiggy to pop out of the top. Which is easiest get gotten um, off of the beehive. And he's off to the lava world, and he is not kidding when he says that. But there is no lava world in this game. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Anyway, I need to go and wonder wing over here to get these notes. There we go. Make sure you get all of them as you go, because you do not want to miss a single thing and then be wandering around the three seasons, I mean, the four seasons aimlessly looking for notes. Get these five notes over here on this back wall. And let's climb up, get the fall Jinjo, see how they're matching colors, as I was saying a while back. Yup, yup, yup. Yellow one in the summer, orange one in the fall. And now I gotta, gotta sorta kinda, yeah, um, uh, can I like, I didn't think so. This is kind of a tricky one, because <laughs> I'm gonna have to fall in the water, that's okay. Uh, yeah, that, that one note there is a little bit, a little bit on the annoying side, I have to say. Even though there's those leaves there and whatnot, I pressed the A button again in midair. I swear, I'm used to doing that jump. <laughs> okay, I hope that doesn't happen on the higher areas. <laughs> I just put it that way. Oh, I did not switch my camera around, that was my own fault. Ah, 
There we go. Yeah, I know they're around there. I just wasn't being careful enough. Any, uh, I want to carefully get past, there we go. Any caterpillars that are, no, I guess not. I guess I can leave you then. Um, I'm not going to destroy that because there's more, more of these to kill and I'm going to get my health back from them. There we go. Hey there. Hey, yeah, yeah. Oh, I killed you. Okay. Um, 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 I guess I'm going around this way now because I ended up, yeah, flopping down that way. So, clockwise it is this time, which doesn't really make much of a difference other than me having to go back to this spot right there. Um, there's some notes here. Can I, like, carefully set myself up? Yeah, okay. Get ready. And get them all there. Just try and save your uh, fe uh, feathers, because, yeah, you're going to need them for stuff like that. That's why I was kind of avoiding using my golden feathers in the buzza section. I mean, uh, in the zubba section, excuse me. Why did I say buzza? Uh, because of the whole... Um, uh, the bee attack thing, and yeah, it would have been easier with the golden feathers, but not necessary. Uh, anything on top of his... Okay, that, I'm thinking of winter when there's something on top of there, I'm thinking... Alright, but there is a caterpillar in here. Hey, how's it going? Oh man, too many leaves to sweep, no time for magic, so yeah, that's all you can transform in the fall. But you can come in here and get yourself a caterpillar as well as a couple of notes. Four, I do believe. Yes, 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 don't fall in the fire, PK Gam. Okay, safe. Now, we gotta get ourselves back. And uh, this time we don't have the shock spring pad, so we're using the boots and we're going this way. Yes, across the brambles safely. And there is where we ended off our road around that way before we went went looped around the other way. And another caterpillar here. Uh, I will grab this golden feather if you don't mind, thank you. <laughs> you just never know when you'll need them. As this is a big, complex world, I don't have it totally memorized, though I do have it mostly memorized. Uh, I don't care about big butts, I'm faster than him in Talon Trot mode. Uh, except when I run into him. <laughs> okay, we are good, and that's why I leave my honeycombs in case of dumb mistakes. And now I can go back around here for the remainder of the notes around the perimeter of the tree. Well, tree base. But there's more notes up top! Oh, yes! Um, are you in here? No, you're not. Okay. <laughs> I forgot if I killed that one or not offhand. Um, 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 okay, let's go up. And now we don't need to do that rigmarole on those leaves because we did it in the summertime. So we don't have to worry about there being any jiggy. I will grab that though because I'm yeah, getting my health back. Uh, there's a mumble token there, as you could tell, if you really care for that at this point. <laughs> and if you'd like to, you can do that. Okay, um, there's- I hear the squeakies. I need to turn the camera around here, please, thank you. Um, this one's pretty treacherous to get. Okay. <laughs> the snare bear hitboxes are pretty wide. Mumble token way over there. And... Try and get my jump as best as I possibly can. There we go. Now, I'm gonna kill you, gonna kill you, and I'm gonna kill you too. How do you like those apples? <laughs> Alright, now for that jiggy on top of the flower. Remember I said it's easiest to get when you are up on the beehive? Well, let's carefully get ourselves down here. Remember, you can't go in here, just, just for the sake of telling you that again. Um... I'm gonna carefully go down here, and I do believe there is something in the beehive in the fall, so I'm gonna be back there in a minute. <laughs> it's just that I've gotta, yeah, I gotta reclimb up there all over again, so I think we are due for cuts, if you don't mind. We've made it! <laughs> well, I shouldn't say that. We still have to climb up the beehive and get inside for the spoils within. And by spoils, I mean four notes. <laughs> And, uh, but, uh, I was gonna say buzz again. Well, I guess they do say buzz, but there are important things here. Don't say that, even though we've got enough caterpillars, but there's another caterpillar in here. 
And there you go. We don't have to go in the beehive anymore. In fact, we won't be able to go in the beehive in its current state in the winter time. So the beehive is over. Now, we have the rest of the climb to finish up. Can we do it? Probably eventually. Let's see. <laughs> and go! Careful, careful, careful. Oh, I jumped a little wide there? Okay. I just don't want to jump out of, out of these windows a little too wide because it's hard to get back into another window when you do that. Now, remember I said that uh, this was easiest to get in the fall? Behold. <laughs> just, the floor is all built now. Heck yeah. So yeah, you could have gotten that in the summer if you dared, but... Nah. <laughs> I already took enough risks. Uh, I hear the squeaky squeakiness of the powers of the caterpillar. Uh, but I just want to take a look-see around here. Um, it is possible to actually get up on this roof and take a look-see around. I don't think there are any notes. No, they're, they're in winter when they're up on the roof. Of course, in winter. They would put them up there. And uh, where is that caterpillar that I hear around these parts? I mean, I don't need any more. I just want to kind of see where the heck they all are. Oh, it's down there. Okay. So, there is a mumble token there, which you don't need. By the way, I like the uh, little shock screen pads here. Uh, if, you if you decide to go up this path and get the jiggy in the fall, there are... Oh, the bat leaf is in the way. There are... Oh, you can see it better here. There are those little shock spring pads on the leaves that they shrunk to be able to fit on there. <laughs> okay. Alright. It's kind of awkward with the, the camera landing on there, but I always try and land on the fat portion of any sort of platform if possible. Hey, you. I'm getting rid of you because you might... Oh, I didn't mean to collect that, but, but yeah, you might cause me a lot of ire. And now, we could finally do this side quest. <laughs> well, it's not really a side quest if it's a part of the world, I guess. But uh, he needs six more acorns. I was holding the L button because of my talent shot, which slows down the dialogue. So he needs six acorns. We need to find some acorns. Let's start by going in his own house. For some reason. Yes, there is actually, for one thing, there is a caterpillar. And the other thing is that there's a couple notes and... There's an acorn in here. Yeah, I, he's got an acorn in his house. It, I, I guess he lost it or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> and to top it all off, there's a, no, no, no. I don't. I don't want to give him right now. <laughs> there's another acorn in his attic that's now built. Um, what? What? Why? How? How could you forget about this? You've placed these in here, didn't you? you didn't you? <laughs> I mean, there's a window here. This is your place, isn't it? I think. Anyway, I took care of the ones in his house. I guess he just lost them. <laughs> now there's four more to get. And I gotta carefully wander my way back to here. There we go. No, 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 no not ready yet. I want to get all six. And th this, this one in the middle there is pretty tricky. Uh, you gotta get it from the side, I recommend, like, jumping down to the platform down below. See see that? See that? So, yeah, you gotta kind of aim for that as best you possibly can. I'm trying to use the R button to center. There we go. Okay, I think I am safe. There we go. <laughs> and there's another one right here. And there's a really, really well hidden one over here on this platform on the side here that is often obscured by the camera and it's also very tricky to get because you can zoom right down there very easily and there you go we got all six enjoy your acorns buddy <laughs> yes delicious acorns that are disappearing into your pockets or maybe even your body I don't know how the game works but what I do know is that I got a jiggy and I collected it in the cutscene, yeah. All right, now let's see what you have to say here. Oh yeah, you've got your acorns. Just don't eat them this time. Don't eat them this time. <laughs> well, at least not unless you need them to sustain yourself through the winter months. All right, now I think I got all the stuff up there. Well, I mean, yeah, there's feathers there, but 
don't need the feathers until anything winter related. Now I'm going to do these just like I did in the summer, by letting them peek their beaks out once, and then getting them when they come back for the triple peck. <laughs> there you go, here's the winter switch. And there we go, yes, winter is opened. <laughs> Alright, now, how many notes do we have? 76. Then that means the last eight must be on, yeah, the nest here. Good, good. That's good pacing. Now let's give Eerie here the ten caterpillars in an extremely, extremely slow pace. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. And for some odd reason, there's a caterpillar behind his nest, but uh, he never goes and hunts for it. It's just there. I guess. See, you can see it right behind them there, and you never really bothered to look or go after it or anything like that. It's just there. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Yes, yes. So, I'll see you in winter now, I guess. <laughs> okay, now for those last eight notes. There's a couple of them you couldn't actually see in the cutscene for some reason. But there are indeed eight notes around the nest here. Just carefully get them. I don't know why I'm in Talon Trot mode when it's probably more risky. Uh, and there you go. The remaining 16 are in winter in groups of four. And just for the sake of looking around to see the whole place, I'm going to go up here, I guess. <laughs> because why not? Oh, these jumps. No matter what season it is, they're still a little nerve-wracking. Because we're we're really high up, in case you didn't realize that. And, okay, there's a caterpillar and mumble token up here, I guess. And now, for that extra life, is it in the fall? Just out of curiosity. Like, is it... Uh, no, it is not, at least that I can tell. So maybe that was the only extra life that I was... No, oh no, there is one up there! Okay, so, how do you get that? Like, just out of pure curiosity here. Is it possible to get that? I suspect you have to do some sort of fancy jumps to get up on the, the branches, but I don't remember how you do this. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a second. Am I supposed to, like, go... Oh, there we go. Okay. Now, 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 if you dare, I guess, go for it! Yeah! <laughs> so I guess that's how you get that if you're not in B form, I suppose. Okay, I figured out that platforming puzzle, and I might as well glitch my way down rather than aim for the water, because why not, even though the water is right there. See, in my normal playthroughs, uh, when I wouldn't glitch my way down, I would just aim for the water, which is pretty easy to do. Because, you know, you just aim more towards the center of one of these side route things around the trees and whatnot, so yeah. Alright, we are golden just like those honeycombs. So it looks like I'm going to be ending off the part here and doing the winter in the next part. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you then after ye old fashioned black screen transition, as you would guess.